If we want to define the area of a trapezium, then we have two parallel sides and some distance between those two sides. And the formula for the area is a half h a plus b, where h is the distance and a and b are the two parallel sides. Half of 4 is 2, 2 lots of 12, which would be 24. There are no units given in the question, so we'll keep it purely as, a, as an answer without units. Now we can adapt this technique to estimate areas under curves. And suppose we have the graph of x squared plus 4. And we want to use four trapeziums. So if we split this curve up into four trapeziums, then the trapeziums quite closely match the area under the curve, albeit a slight overestimate. So if I work out the, the areas of the trapeziums, it will give me a pretty good estimate to the actual area. So I must work out the height of each of the trapeziums as well as the width. Now we've been told to use four trapeziums, so these values here are naught, one, two, three, and four is already given. So our h for each trapezium is 1. But I'm missing the heights. But I've got a function here, so I can input the x coordinates in to work out the height of each of these lines. So when x is 0, y will just equal 4. When x is 1, y will equal 1 squared plus 4, 5. Then x is 2, 2 squared plus 4 is 8. When x is 3, 3 squared plus 4 is 13. And when x is 4, 4 squared plus 4 is 20. So I must now work out the four areas of the four trapeziums. However, there's a concise way to work out the total area. And it's as follows. So, a half times by h which in this case is 1, and then times by a big bracket. And the first y-coordinate. Then each of the middle heights occurs in two trapeziums. So plus two lots of 5 plus 8 plus 13, and then plus the very last height. So this concise expression here will evaluate all four trapeziums added together. So a half, 4 plus 20 is 24, plus 2 lots of 5 plus 8 plus 13, 26. So a half of 24 plus 52. A half of 76, so the area equals 38. So 38 is an estimate for the area under the curve. Because we've used trapeziums and the curve is concave, then this is an overestimate. But nevertheless, probably a pretty good estimate.